auto industry is in quick change mode these days, trying to cope with a whole new universe of demands. Customers want connected cars. Some want cars that'll drive themselves. But as our business editor Rob Maloney tells us tonight, that brave new world requires us to do a better job of protecting ourselves. Rod, what's going on here? Well, Devin, here's the deal. It's a double-edged sword when you connect your internet-connected phone to a car like this Dodge Dart. You know, play your Bluetooth music and stuff like that. Because what ends up happening is, while it's really convenient for you, guess what? It can be convenient for the guys who want to hack you. We all remember getting that chill down our collective spines when white hat hackers were able to take control of a Jeep remotely last summer. It was greatly comforting to find out that right now that is not what we need to worry about. But at the Automotive Press Association today, I moderated a panel discussion on cybersecurity and discovered the larger threat comes from the mere act of getting connected to the Internet in your vehicle for you and even the car company. FBI agent Thomas Winterhaller Jr. says a rental car is a good example of how we need to rethink our personal security. When you leave that rental car and drop it off, erase your information off that system because a lot of times that information it's all your contacts and information that's on your phone is now left on that rental car so the next person that comes in if they have the right tools and equipment they can extract the information from that rental vehicle the most troubling notion is that the internet has created the wild west and the bad guys are after us all whether a car company car owner or driver and it only gets more dangerous in the area of self-driving cars tower sick automotive cybersecurity expert dr anuja solnaker says Let's be careful out there. If you don't need to connect your phone to your car, don't do it. Or if you don't need to use um, your radio channel that you were listening to at home from your phone, you want to do that same thing in your car. Try not to do this. Compartmentalize. And what that really means is that cybersecurity is everyone's business. And speaking of the automotive business, it's also going to change how the car companies deal with each other. Because, you know, they like to talk about that proprietary information where they don't share anything with the other car companies. Well, it turns out when you've got hackers banging on the door, it kind of helps to know what the other guys are doing to prevent them from getting in so you don't get in trouble with their hacker through their vehicles. It's, it's a very complicated universe, and they know they have to do something about this, Devin. Well, uh, Carmen just said what every other driver's thing. I don't want to have to think about this. The industry must know that. This doesn't, nobody wants to add this to their list of worries. So what are they doing to get ahead of this problem? Right. Well, the problem for, for all of us, Carmen, is that <laughs> we're going to have to think about this, okay? It's just that's the way of the world now because you've got so many people wanting to hack that you've got to do what you can to protect yourself and your information from getting out there. And so the yeah. car companies have a program with the Automotive uh, Manufacturing Association, and they're starting to do this, but you get the idea that perhaps they're a little behind the curve on this, and they're going to have to go to work on it. And that they will. No doubt. Big, big issue for the future. All right, Rod.